you are going to thank me. That's right. You're going to thank me because I had one of my features added to Adobe Media Encoder, and that's LUT support. So one of the things that I really wanted and that I heard a lot from customers is that they wanted to process some video but apply a LUT or a dot look file from SpeedGrade, which can be a very complex rendering of a bunch of stacks of things, including vignettes and, and different looks and LUTs and, and film stocks all at once. But I, what I wanted to do is really combine this into a real workflow from end to end to talk about creating dailies. So if it's your job to take a bunch of R3D files and spit them out into maybe H.264 for approval, scale them down, and maybe apply a lot, or use the RMD that came with the file. We can't actually choose the RMD here, but if there's one applied and it's sitting in there in the, in the folder with that, the R3D, it will show up inside Media Encoder. Um, we're also going to turn things up as far as acceleration in here. Um, I'm using an NVIDIA, NVIDIA Quadro K6000. So this is an incredibly powerful GPU. Uh, we've got GPU acceleration for any card, but this happens to be the mother load of GPU acceleration. So things like scaling, rotation, uh, deinterlacing, and of course applying a LUT inside here because it's the Lumetri Deep Color Engine is all GPU accelerated. You can still do this without a GPU, but it's going to be faster. Not the rendering. It's really important that we're not uh, doing the actual rendering of the file with the GPU, but other parts of this chain are uh, being enhanced and accelerated with GPU. So the idea here is I've created a setup inside Media Encoder, and this takes advantage of the new effects settings inside here. That means I can batch these effects like overlays, things like do not copy or a bug in the corner, time code, clip name, all of that inside. And instead of uh, outputting a whole video of, of clips, I'm outputting individual clips. This is something that customers have asked us to do for a long time. So we now have a great solution. Let's go have a look. So inside Media Encoder, um, I can create a new preset by going to here and create new preset. I'm just going to open up one of the ones I've got created here already. So this is uh, something I called My Studio. I'll click in this button here and open it up. On the left-hand side, before this particular version of CC, this used to be a filter panel. Now it's an actual effects panel. And the first thing you'll notice is this is a Lumetri look or industry standard LUT. And I can choose any of the ones that come with the file in here. I can also select and load these in. So maybe I'm using a log to display or a rec 709 that I want to drop inside here I'm going from log to rec 709 so that will be applied and accelerated to all the clips in the image overlay I've chosen a standard Photoshop file with transparency uh, and I can place that anywhere I want and I can get a visual representation of this too uh, while I'm bringing this in on a file um, and also an image overlay setting down in here with be the, the source name, uh, the output file name, a prefix with suffix, position, opacity, time code. Um, all of these things are inside that preset. I'll show you what this looks like visually um, in a second. I'm going to actually tab over and drag an R3D file in here and just show you how this works. Uh, let me drag that same My Studio setting over top. If you drag it above, it's actually going to add it to it. If you drag it over top, it replaces it. And I'll click inside here. Now, you'll notice this very purpley uh, setting in here. This is a horrible grade. What I wanted to show you is that I went in and tweaked this RMD file either in Red CineX or in Premiere Pro source settings for the R3D file. And like I said, this RMD is sitting in the same folder that the R3D is so that it's read correctly, read right away. Um, so if we go through our settings, of, there's my uh, lot that I've applied and you can see there's the name and the time code and there's a little bug that I stuck down in the corner in there and we could also go through here and, and see what this looks like over top of everything else so all of this stuff is saved inside here uh, if I want to apply the other one which is the property of and drag that on top 
And again, I'm clicking in this link and opening it up. You can see I've got the image overlay property of in the middle. We actually want that scaled up. And this is, like I said, a native PSD file. This could be a JPEG or a ping, but this is just a native Photoshop file that I can very easily um, go back and change. I don't have to flatten this out. And let me take the transparency down even more. So it's just sitting there nicely. Um, and for this particular one, I want to take the uh, time code and actually put that in the uh, bottom left, actually the bottom right, and the source name, I want that in the bottom left and it scooches out a little bit too far, so I can just override that with a little bit of an offset inside there. So now when I click OK, this will save this as a, a regular settings file uh, for me. Let's just get this to stop, there you go, and click OK. There's my settings file. Now when I apply that, that's gonna output that file. So of course with dailies, it's plural, this is one file, what about multiple files? Two different ways to do this. We can just stay strictly inside Media Encoder uh, and drop this in, but if we're ingesting at the same time, let's say we've got a bunch of, of cards that we're ingesting and we want to send this to Media Encoder and go out, then Prelude is a better way to, to start. So let me jump over to Prelude and um, just show you that in the ingest dialog box, on the right-hand side, when I have transcode uh, enabled, uh, this happens to be an H.264, there is my setting, Studio Property Of, directly on top. So I'm picking that as I transcode this. Of course, I can add more metadata properties down here. I can add uh, uh, file names I can change inside here. So all the normal things you would do inside Prelude are still inside here and add all this metadata. That's great. But when we send this out to Media Encoder, we're going to take advantage of that stack of effects and overlays that we had inside there. So that's one way of doing that. Another way uh, of doing that is let's jump back over to Media Encoder and talk about a watched folder. So here's the watched folder. This one can be the property of or my studio or any of those settings. So this will now take anything I drop into it, um, output to that format that I wanted, which was this uh, HD format. I'm scaling, remember scaling is GPU accelerated by the uh, Quadro K6000 inside here. It's gonna make that much faster. The image overlay, the name overlay, all of that, completely intact. So when time comes to uh, to run this, if we go to my files and we go to the actual, let me grab another window in here and let's go to my dailies and there they are. So I am going to, uh, anything I drag inside here will start to convert. So this is where I can take my R3D files and start to bring them in. So let me uh, just grab uh, a few of these. They tend to be uh, a little bit large. And I can copy those. And as they copy, once each one ends up copying inside there, you'll notice that they will be launched into here and start to encode. I'm actually gonna get rid of this one that I have sitting inside there. So there we go. So it's starting to encode each one of those. And you'll notice that uh, there it's, it's creating the, uh, the LUTs. It's uh, actually doing all of the overlays and it's spitting that out quite quickly GPU accelerated. All right. Each one, as it, it becomes available, because I'm copying these large files inside there, it's going to start outputting them. So that's two separate ways to do it, either in a watch folder strictly in uh, Adobe Media Encoder, or as I showed you, Prelude to ingest from the card, apply the metadata in Prelude, send that out, run those overlays, and spit that out. Uh, finally, we have a great solution for dailies that take advantage of GPU acceleration. Like I said, I've got this great NVIDIA Quadro K6000 inside here, so some of these aspects are going to be accelerated. So whatever way you work, you now have a real great solution for applying LUTs and getting out your dailies in our solutions.